Hi, my name is Mohammed Zaki. Who here thought about dying before? Show hands. Okay. Is it because life is too painful or we're not allowing ourselves to feel pain? What if we didn't feel any physical or psychological pain? Just a disclaimer here, I'm, going to no, I'm not going to talk about the pain that includes any self-harm or eating disorders something related to mental health issues or uh, physical abuse. I used to attend a philosophy workshop in which I learned about the law of duality. It states that every single aspect in life con is created from opposite and interacting forces. These forces exist in balance. They're not, they don't cancel each other out, they're just complementary. Think about it like up and down, black and white, love and hate, war and peace. In order for one to exist, there must be the other. With that being said, pleasure won't exist without the presence of pain. Pain is part of who, who we are, is, is within our genes part of our human instinct and vital for our survival. Now, I want everyone here, close your eyes, please. Close your eyes and ask yourself a question. Can pain be beneficial and important for us? Open your eyes. My experience with pain started three years ago when I got inspired one day and decided to go for a run. With no expectations, I put on my shoes and went out. After a couple of minutes, I started to get tired. My legs are shaking, it's getting heavy. My mind and body are telling me to stop. My brain is having these loud thoughts that I'm not having fun anymore, and I really should stop, and there is something wrong. And at that point, I knew I had to take a decision. I took a decision to go for an extra mile. It was hard, and it was my first time to go for the extra mile. However, taking that extra mile for me was the first time that I stuck with something that long for me to take the leap. My definition of the leap is, it is the acknowledgement that everything you will do in life will include mental and physical pain. So if you're feeling a bit entitled or a bit special growing up, I have a bad news for you. You're gonna suffer. You're gonna face hardships. You will fail at lots of things. But having these acknowledgements will change the way that you take that leap. You have two options. Either run away, avoid the pain and the struggle, or give up, or just take that pain, and your life will change. Okay. <sighs> After taking the leap, the next run I went, I ran for more miles. My stamina started to develop run by run. I now run, fi I now run fi five kilometers comfortably. After time, I started to build more resilience and tolerance. And I knew that going through pain will make me develop and get better, not just physically, but also mentally. That tolerance and resistance I prefer to call thick skin. Thick skin will help you not to burn out easily and overcome your shortcomings. Have you ever convinced yourself of an idea that was not true? But you believed in it, and you went through it, and you acted upon it, and it actually worked. Like going to an interview, and you're very anxious and stressed about it. But you believed in yourself, and convinced yourself that you're confident. You went through that interview, and you aced it. Or 
You pretended that you're a sociable person just to make new friends in a birthday party. We all have done that. Mental strength gives you self-confidence and mental stability. <clears throat> um, thinking about the pain, I'm sorry, give me a moment. <laughs> uh, going through the pain gives you more control over your emotions and feelings. So next time you will lose your wallet or miss an important event, you will be able to take smarter decisions to solve the issue and get over with your problems than reacting negatively to it. People say that happiness is a choice and that they chose to be happy. And this sounds ridiculous, right? Actually, it's not. It's true. Having this having these mental strength and thick skin that you gain through experiencing hardships and pain will make you able to decide what's best for you and decide that you're going to be happy and nothing is that crucial in your life that will ruin it. Back to the story. I developed a good schedule in running. I'm now getting better, but I faced barriers. I started to get little injuries. Uh, I started getting lazy. I started posing to study for exams. And I had to be more determined. I had to go beyond these barriers. Taking these barriers will only give you more value in whatever you're doing. Looking back to what I have become in my running journey, it was too late to stop. Running became a part of who I am. People asked, started to ask me to run with them. Barrier adds more sense of purpose. Remember that subject in school that was too easy and you didn't have to study for? I bet you not. You will definitely remember that hard subject that you failed a lot of times and you have to go through it over and over again. Have you ever made friends over a hard time? Have you ever bonded with someone in a struggles, in struggles? It's like Egyptians guarding and cleaning the streets after the revolution, or Japan becoming one of the best countries in the world after recovering from a nuclear bomb. Barriers add more value to the connections between people and show true colors. After taking the leap, going through barriers, something about pain started to feel different. It started to be satisfying. Pain started to turn into pleasure. If I didn't challenge myself in a day with something, I would definitely consider it as a waste of time. Pain became a destination. After two years of running, I promised myself two things. I promised myself that I'm going to run two half marathons. By the beginning of the year, I ran a half marathon in Cairo. And by the end of the year, I overachieved myself and ran, and ran a full 42 kilometers marathon. Thank you. It's like a video game. In order to get to that hard boss level, you need to go through the whole storyline and hustle through the levels. If I didn't go through that pain, I wouldn't have anything to say on a TEDx talk. Now I want you to close your eyes again and ask yourself a qu that question. Can pain be important and beneficial for us? 
Open your eyes, raise your hand if your answer has changed. Well, okay. <laughs> Can pain be positive? Can it lead us into pleasure? Can it make us achieve what we always want it to be? It, it certainly needs self-awareness to answer these questions. We have been raised to fear pain, avoid the struggle, take shortcuts and cheat our way through. But what if we accepted pain, put it in our daily routine, consider it as our leap to break through barriers and limitations, to reach the ultimate destination of being happy. Pain will transform us into better versions of ourselves. Running was my way to express myself and to explore who I am as a person. Since I'm very bad at math, I like to keep a, a really simple equation in my mind. Existence equals pain. So if we added more value to the pain, we'll be adding more value to our existence. Thank you for having me.